Today, we're going to show you how to maximize productivity and minimize cost with new edge and void fillers from Huntsman. Let's focus on Epicast 1648 edge and void filler. Epicast 1648 is a flame smoke and toxicity compliant material that's suitable for edge filling, void filling, core reinforcing, insert potting, and ditch pot fold applications. Epicast 1648 is also listed on BMS specifications and is most frequently used for interior requirements such as overhead bag stow bins, galleys, and laboratories. With approximately an 18 minute gel time, this product is almost 50% faster to handling strength than most competitive products on the market and is also up to 50% stronger in compressive strength. It has a 100 to 20 mix ratio. It can be a, purchased in either a Simcoe injection style cartridge or in bulk for meter mix dispensing. If you're going to use the injection style cartridge, we're going to walk through a simple mixing procedure next. When you remove the tail cap, I prefer to place a paper towel on the end to give you a little extra force on the bottom. You don't want to let that slide back during the mixing process. Remove the tip cap. Insert the plunger rod, rod which contains the pre-mixed, pre-measured hardener. Turn it clockwise until you feel it engage the impeller. Once the impeller is locked in, take the dasher rod and you'll need a little extra force to break the plunger in the bottom. Once you feel the plunger give, I would suggest going about a third of the way down the cartridge, expressing about a third of the material as you go. Move another third, express another third. As you get closer to the bottom, put the, re the remaining material in. If there's anything left, apply it through the cartridge as you pull back out. Once you've reached the top, all material should be expressed. It's important not to do what they would call a hot load by dumping all the accelerator or hardener into one section of the cartridge, as this can lead to improper mixing. Remove the dasher rod, hold this, make sure it's secured firmly. Using that paper towel that you put into the back end, attach it to a mixing machine. One full revolution should, go, should be up and down as well. Mixer's off, remove the plunger, grasp the cartridge tightly, turn the plunger counterclockwise, remove it from the impeller, and set it aside. I like to take the paper towel and push just gently and apply some pressure to remove any excess air that may be trapped inside of the cartridge this time. Once the material reaches the top, I'll remove the paper towel and apply the applicator nozzle. Purge any air that may be trapped inside of the gun carefully into a small con disposable container. Once applied down the trench, it's important to pull and work the material back into the edges to allow for a better fine finish at the end. Leave a small amount of the material protruding from the top. This will allow for a smooth sanded finish, which can then either be painted or bonded to. Epicast 1648 gels in approximately 18 minutes, which again allows for fastest final part finishing in your shop. We're going to demonstrate potting an insert now. Gently place the nozzle tip at the opening of the insert. Once you Apply the air pressure, hold it in place long enough, gently without giving too much force, and allow the material to flow around the insert and seat into the core, then you'll see it pop out of the other side. Once that happens, we're going to reverse the flow by moving the nozzle from the current hole to the second hole. After briefly reversing the flow, We've ensured that material has flowed in both directions around the insert and it's as well seated into the core as it can be. That's potting an insert. Thanks for watching and we appreciate your time. If you would like to learn more, please follow the link provided and let us know how we can help. We have product flyers, technical data sheets, and samples available upon request.